hello loves welcome back to the channel um welcome to this week's goddess hour i am currently redoing uh, my personal altar and i am moving santa muerte to my working altar i'm like moving all of my altars right now so that's kind of what i'm working on i can't show you guys my altar spaces because it's very sacred but i just wanted to show you guys these flowers that babe got me look at them they're so beautiful they're so beautiful she always gets me like the bouquets and then i put it together myself so it ends up looking like super super gorgeous like this i love it i'm in love so this is gonna go in my working altar my personal altar i'm splitting my working altar and my personal altar in half so that's where it's gonna go we're gonna be doing a very very simple um spell um this one it's supposed to be a dollar tree spell but unfortunately some of the ingredients that i'm using um are not dollar tree so it is what it is um i am going to this is going to be in combination of the wedding fun jar as well as the hallmark card hallmark card that i got um at the dollar tree which i'm really excited to use and show you guys how i'm working with it but unfortunately, some of the ingredients that I'm using are not from the Dollar Tree. And you guys know the Dollar Tree spell videos are mainly from the Dollar Tree. You can, like, customize some of these things to, like, just be, um, like, you can do the spell and just kind of customize it your own way. I'll still put it under the Dollar Tree videos, um, the playlist, so you guys can kind of get the context. But as of right now, um, this is basically what it's looking like. So it is, it is what it is um so yeah so basically this is going to be a this is this is technically is going to be scripting um i already have like i kind of set the mood i have like the vanilla um fragrance oil going on my diffuser right now just sweetening the vibes and sweetening the room um i had already fixed the uh femininity candle the fem femininity and fertility candle it has moroccan rose palo santo and warm amber it's a soy blend candle and i already fixed it with some herbs i have hibiscus in there i have um some love oil i have some catnip uh and some roses just keeping it really 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 simple um just because i just want it to be like very sweet vibes i this this ritual is meant to be like you romanticizing uh like the, the, romanticizing the future basically um and you can do this with like any hallmark card for whatever it is that you're trying to work whether it be like you're um, manifesting or timeline jumping into a different um future of you know your job where you just got a promotion a really big promotion with a huge pay raise or whatever or um or you can be doing this for a relationship or like you can be doing this to like the next step in your ascension um for whatever reason like you can you can do this with any of the like congratulations or like any types of the hallmark cards that are um celebrating something and that's what we're doing here this is meant to be a celebratory thing um so that's why i'm using this card i did i forgot to get the envelope so i made a really really bad uh envelope myself and i'm going to be sealing it uh with wax this one i got a really long time ago it's heart shaped see that yeah um and so that's one of the reasons why i told you guys like it's not gonna be fully dollar tree but you can definitely still do this spell um at a low cost you just have to change some of the ingredients around but i'm just using the ones that i'm more comfortable with so i already cleansed my my hands with um some florida water which is always like a go-to and then um i'm going to start with the card and then we're going to be working here in a bit okay when it comes to this jar this is going to be very very simple um i am going to be putting a thousand dollars in this jar um just because i'm trying to add a really um a, a good amount like a good foundation um to the jar and it says wedding fund on it um so this is definitely me working with that venus and capricorn energy to prepare myself for next year and for the year ahead um for the next year the next two years ahead um you guys know that i already like we already picked out our wedding date i look i did it astrologically um i basically used mm -hmm. astrology and i used numerology to pick the best day um and i have a date for next year and i have a date for 2022 
three uh specifically already picked out in alignment with our you know our everything um and so that's kind of like why i kind of went i have like these two dates available and depending on uh what happens next year because we're still planning quite a bit of things um and so if we don't get to you know do it next year then it'll just happen 2023 um and i already have those dates filled out and we're like good to go on that end um so basically this jar is just going to be like that foundation so i'm going to be adding specific things to this jar and again it's not going to be dollar tree unfortunately i'm sorry about that but um you can still get like the jar itself the ingredients and stuff from the dollar tree as well um but we're gonna start with the card and then we're gonna move into the jar and i'm gonna tell you guys what i'm adding to the jar as well so for the card is very simple you're gonna go to the dollar tree you're gonna pick up a card that resonates with you if you're already engaged um then you know you pick a card that's celebrating that um if you're get like engaged and getting ready to be married or you're celebrating an anniversary or something or you're celebrating a milestone within the relationship then pick a card that says that i really liked um what is said in here that's why i picked it um and so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna just open it i already cleansed all of my items by the way so everything's good to go for me to start um but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a pen this is um the pen that i've already anointed for manifestation and what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna take this page right here and i'm going to script what what spe specifically i'm gonna write the date that i'm supposed to be getting married right um or the dates technically and um what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna script a letter here of what i want the day to feel like not just on my end but on babe's end as well um so that way like we're manifesting into that reality so that's what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna write it out i'm not going to show you guys what i'm writing obviously because it's really private but um I'm going to write that letter. I'm going to romanticize it. I'm going to just be in the, again, I already have the diffuser going with the vanilla. So I'm very much in like a very relaxed and like, you know, lovey mood. Great, great time to like keep a rose quartz nearby. I have one right here. I have one right here in my personal altar and I'm just like charging my items. Um, so I'm going to just write that letter and I, then I will be back. We're going to be going into the sealing process. Okay. So this is a good time to draw some symbols on the card. You can do some sigils, you can do some symbols, whatever you feel like you need to do. I am drawing the Ankh symbol because this will be a moment of new life and new birth for me so um after you write your symbols and you write you know whatever it is that you need you can like write in the back as well um you can start putting it inside your envelope okay so now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna put the letter um inside the envelope okay and what you can do is that you can also put herbs in this envelope before you seal it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two petals from a bouquet that she recently gave me. And I'm just going to crumble it in there. Just to have the that manifestation, that reality be like, have be full of love, basically. Um, so you're going to put it in there. And then gonna fold it over and again make sure if you get it at the dollar tree to make sure you get your own um <laughs> make sure you get your own uh what's it called envelope because i definitely didn't i'm gonna light my candle and then i'm going to begin the sealing process okay Okay, so I'm going to give it a second. And then I'm going to go ahead and seal it. I'm just going to leave it there for a second. Let it seal properly. You want to let it dry. Okay, so we're gonna start working with the jar. I'm gonna be using some Prosperity Cologne to anoint, oops, sorry, 
to anoint the money. I'm not gonna touch it too much. I'm just gonna, just like that. And as it's drying, I'm just anointing the money and thanking the money for multiplying. Multiplying in my life, multiplying for the intention that I wanted to multiply for, okay? And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create a base at the bottom before I start putting the money in there with some herbs, starting with hibiscus. Very simple herbs, nothing too crazy. We're just gonna be working with hibiscus, catnip. This is to attract more money, to fill the jar with more money. Okay. And chamomile. Chamomile is going to bring that calm, that peace, that like no worries. Everything's going to work out. Everything's going to like, you will have the budget. You will have all of the things. Um, you don't have to worry about anything. Like money is not an issue. Like catering is not an issue. Like everything's fine. Like that. that's the... That's why chamomile is going in here. Okay, and then we're gonna use that same rose and we're just going to put some of the petals in there and that's going to be our foundation. Okay, that's gonna be our base herbs for this jar, okay? And then once that is done, so you're going to hold it in your hand. So you're going to activate the herbs for what it is that you want. Okay. So now what you're going to do, um, because I'm using $1,000 on with this, I am going to put them in one by one. The reason for this is that I want... Oh, I want it to look like the jar is full because that's going to like it's same like as a vision board I'm gonna put a little bit of the prosperity perfume just to multiply the money one by one I want it to look like the jar is already full because that's going to work um, as that manifestation as that multiplication is very much like Jupiter energy like it just multiplies as you see it it just multiplies so that's why I'm doing it this way so I'm just going to take a little bit of the prosperity oil and ask for that hundred dollar bill to turn into 200 turn into 300 400 okay This is how it's looking like so far. Okay, so that is what it's looking like. Okay jar is full of money it is blessed by the herbs it is activated for what it needs to be activated for just gonna put this away okay and then now we're gonna bring the letter back and we're just gonna take off the seal and that is what it looks like okay and what you can do is that if you want to you can flip it over and then write uh, op like open on this day or whatever whichever day that it is that you're working with or um you could just write a thank you to the universe for um bringing this into fruition for this day so that's what i'm gonna do um so i'm gonna go ahead and write that and then i'll be back so now that that is finished um you can literally flip it over if you want to have more symbols on it whatever it is that you need to do um you can go ahead and do that um i'm gonna go ahead and probably do a couple more symbols and then just kind of call it a day but yeah that's pretty much how you do this letter to the universe um fund it is a really really cool spell to do and i really highly recommend that you 
try it out um but you can do it for so many different things which is why it's like so versatile um these jars they sell them at the dollar tree and they have like different savings for different things so what i'm going to do with this specific jar is that i'm going to take out a hundred dollars out of my bank account every single week um and put it in here specifically in the savings and that's just gonna continue to multiply it and multiply it and multiply it um and then babe will be doing the same thing as well so we'll be putting in the funds together um but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it was helpful i hope that you learned something and yeah i'm gonna let this candle burn through i'm not gonna turn it off i'm just gonna let it burn through on my personal altar and yeah kind of like just go from there um thank you guys for watching i hope that you guys like enjoyed it uh definitely don't forget to subscribe um don't forget to check out the patreon or the channel um memberships as well which will be down below thank you so much for all the love and support i really love and appreciate you guys so much um thank you for 11,000 subscribers as well i'm really really excited that we are growing together and i can't wait to continue to do that so thank you so much for everything and i will see you in the next video bye